You're still watching All Angles with myself and Fundo Mabalani here on ENCA. The ANC officers in Bumalanga have gone up in flames. Party officials say a random person walked in and petrol bombed the Mbombela office. This comes as the party gears up for its provincial elective conference. Police are investigating the motive behind the fire. Earlier this month, the National Working Committee resolved to disband the Mbumalanga Provincial Executive Committee. Now, for more details on that fire at the ANC's offices, we're joined now by the party's provincial spokesperson, Ms. Sasegani Manzini. Ms. Manzini, thank you very much for your time. Very, very disturbing news that Chema Silela is no more. Talk to me about what exactly is at the center of this. Do you have any information at this point as to the individual that supposedly petrol bombed the building? Uh, good morning to the viewers at home. Yes, indeed, Lomfundo, it's a sad day for us as an organization to wake up uh, in the morning that uh, somebody just walk in like an ordinary member of the community of the ANC that we want to go into the office, but then went straight to one of the offices um, without even realizing that this person is coming there to ban the offices of the, of the African National Congress. And uh, we want to thank God that uh, the staff members, all of them who were there, are not hurt and uh, they are fine and also indicate that it's not the whole building of the uh, Chema Slela House, but uh, just part of the offices that were banned. And uh, we are already uh, working with the police law enforcement agency who are there, uh, taking their statements from the staff members who are there, and also making sure that they start with the investigation of which we have confidence in them to, see, to say that uh, the person who is uh, involved in terms of wanting to bend down our offices will be arrested within a short space of time. Mm -hmm. Sasegani, you say that the individual walked in and some saw him walk in. I mean, how is the security there? How easy is it for one to just randomly walk in? Was the security not, not there at the time? Uh, remember, the, the offices of the ANC are offices where uh, mo most of the people, they go there, and uh, you will not suspect that uh, the person wants to harm anybody. He was, he was escorted to the one of the offices that he wanted to go to without realizing that uh, his intention is not uh, like all members of the communities and members, members of the ANC will come and visit uh, certain people in the offices. But uh, uh, this time, we just walk in like a harmless person that... Uh, is just going to one of the offices. So, uh, of course, maybe we need to tighten our securities uh, in terms of maybe doing more than we normally do. Because uh, remember, in ANC offices, an office where uh, we previously we, we know that these are people who are members of the ANC who are not there to harm anyone, but most of the time, or if not all the time, except this incident, they are there to ask for information to see other members of the staff that are working there. So it mm -hmm. was like. Uh, something that no one expected, hence even the man I was treated. It was like the ordinary way that people normally do. Mm -hmm. I know right now the police are looking to gather as much information, but are you at least at liberty to state who the person stated he was coming to visit in that particular office? No, we can't uh, the state uh, indicate the whole information because uh, according to what we are getting, he was saying uh, many things while he was there, of which, like I'm saying, when we get a proper report, we will then be in a position to indicate what transpired. It will be wrong of me to want to say the things that I've mentioned on the statement that are taken by the police, uh, but maybe let's allow that processes to unfold so that uh, when we get a formal report, we'll then be exactly communicating information that is accurate than getting information from there and there, then communicate that as an organization right now at this moment. All right, all right, that's fair enough. And then just lastly, is the whole building cordoned off or staff can actually go to office today, report for work in a certain section of the building? Uh, that's why we are saying, fortunately, it's not the whole building that was bent down. It uh, is part of, uh, the, I think it's two rooms, but even though we're not allowed to go inside, but uh, I'm told that it's only two rooms that are affected. So it's not the whole building, meaning that uh, uh, the, the Chair Masnella House can continue to operate once they are done in terms of uh, maybe the small maintenance that needs to be done there. But uh, for that, we appreciate that uh, it is going to be used based on the, the, the extent of the, the, the damage that we've seen from outside, not from inside, uh, that has happened there. 
All right, Ms. Manzini, thank you very much. I'll spare you on any political questions today, particularly that upcoming provincial <coughs> elective conference. Thank you very much for your time. That's Asagani Manzini, spokesperson for the ANC in Mpumalanga.